All right, Candy Canes. So I don't know what I, I don't know if you guys have been following this, but this is Heather McDonald, Jeff Lewis, and this woman named Megan Weaver. Okay. So quick recap. I don't know if my candy canes are into these guys. Let me know if you are. Quick recap. We know Heather McDonald. She's on Juicy Scoop. She has the podcast. She's a comedian. She's a TV writer. She worked with Chelsea Handler for years. Um, Heather McDonald. Everybody knows Heather McDonald. Juicy Scoop. Then we have Jess, Jeff Lewis. Everybody knows Jeff Lewis. You know, he has his serious podcast. He had, you know, Flipping It with Jeff or whatever it was called on Bravo for many, many years. The like interior design stuff, you know, all of that. He also has a new show on Freebie, which is like the Amazon IMDb or something like that streaming platform. So, so yeah, you know, that's kind of like Jeff Lewis. He has his radio show. And then there's this woman named Megan Weaver. Now, I'm not particularly that familiar with Megan Weaver. Um, I guess she's like, I guess they're called chumps, which are like Jeff Lewis's like posse or whatever. And she's a part of that. She's a part of the show. She's a part of that whole crew. And then they also have these other people that, you know, by proxy they're friends with. Like Heather McDonald is really close to Lala. Um, they're also really close with Kelly Dodd. They're also really close with like that whole sort of like reality TV Bravo scene. I know that Jeff is really close to um, Mercedes from Charles of Sunset. So it's kind of like that world, that Bravo world, that reality TV world, that podcast radio host world, right? So essentially what happened was they were all out near where they were all out for like a day, like a weekend or whatever. And they ended up going to Kelly Dodd and Rick and Rick Leventhal's house. They had been drinking all day, whatever the case is. So this Megan Weaver chick is wasted and she goes over to Heather and she's like, Hey, listen, I'm going to let you know how, what we all think about you. None of us like you. We all think you're thirsty as hell. That's why we don't invite you to things. You know, none of us are really your friends. We all feel this way. We talk about you behind your back. You're a clout chaser. You're a celebrity chaser. You know, you're so thirsty. None of us like you, blah, 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 blah. And basically just like red Heather McDonald down for filth. And Heather kind of like burst out in tears and she's like, wait, what? Like, I thought we all were friends. Like, I thought you know, I would come on your show. I would come on Jeff Lewis's show and like everything would be fine. I'm really super confused. Right. And, you know, she's known Jeff Lewis literally for decades. I think they went to college together. She's been on his show. He's been on her show. Like they they all work together. You know, a lot of juicy scoopers have come over to support his podcasts and his shows. So it's not just personal. It's also professional. Now, I'm going to read to you. This is from Reddit, basically like the recap of what I just said, okay? So it says, from what I gathered via comments left on Jeff's, on Jeff's most recent post, Megan was really drunk and did the whole, you know, you, you want to know what I really think about you type of thing. And then went into Heather saying, everyone thinks she's thirsty. None of the chumps like her. Jeff didn't invite her to the Halloween thing at Universal because no one wanted her there. And meanwhile, Stu, there's like Chef Stu. I don't know where the hell he's from. Maybe like below deck or something like that stood there nodding the whole time as if he was backing up all of Megan's claims Jeff said on yesterday's show that he knew Megan wasn't a fan of Heather's for a while but that he did not co-sign on the things Megan said okay this is the thing and then also obviously Heather McDonald you know said what happened she was crying she did a video on it she posted on her Patreon and then it blew up from there and everybody was like coming for Megan and coming for Jeff and coming for Kelly being like, why didn't you stand up and all this stuff? Now, this is the thing. I think that this is a classic case of jealousy. I think that this Megan we Weaver person is extremely jealous of Heather McDonald. And I'll tell you why. I think Megan in her mind thinks I'm prettier than Heather. My personality is better than hers. I'm cooler than she is. These are all of my friends. You know, who does Heather think she is? Blah, 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 blah. Right? And I think that this Megan person has probably, has probably been talking a lot of crap about Heather behind her back. Almost to the point where it's like poisoning other people, where it's like, don't you think she's annoying? Don't you think she's thirsty? Like, it's a part of Heather McDonald's shtick, you know, to be 
thirsty. She talks about it. She says, I always want to be invited. I always feel left out. Um, you know, I, I want to be famous. I want to hang out with these people. Like, it's a part of her shtick. Like, that's very much who she is. She's transparent about it. She's not, in my opinion, thirsty or a clout chaser because she's in on the joke. It's literally her joke. You know, she's a comedian. She does stand-up comedy. And she's very self-deprecating in that way. So to me, you can't actually be thirsty if you're the one being like, hey, listen, I'm thirsty. This is what's up, you know? So it's like, I think it's more of this Megan woman who I, I don't really know anything really that much about her except for she's friends with Jeff. I think low key just being a hater on Heather. I think she feels she's in competition with her. And I think it's one of those things very much like, um, in my opinion, very much like a Melissa Gorga, Teresa Judice situation, right? Where I think Melissa Gorga, the way I still, the way I think this Megan woman does is like, I'm prettier than you. I'm cooler than you. These are all of my friends. I should be the HBIC. I should be the one with, with my own podcast. I should be the one with all of the followers. I should be the one who's Jeff Lewis's BFF. I should be the one who's the star, right? And it and I and I I felt really bad for Heather McDonald. You know, I I like Juicy Scoop. It's cool. You know, I'll tell you this. Heather McDonald blocked me on Twitter. I'll tell you why. This was years ago when Stasi uh got canceled for being a racist. Heather McDonald was talking about it on her podcast and she was giving all of these ways of how Stassi should make this comeback and basically completely was, in my opinion, disrespectful of not even realizing that what Stassi did was actually really wrong. And I was very vocal about that. And so she blocked me. It's fine now. She follows me on Instagram. I follow her on Instagram too, but just want to be transparent about that. Um, but yeah, it's just, I don't know. And I don't know if you guys are even following the story. Like, let me know if you guys are into this story or into stories like this, you know, put it down below. But to me, it was like that classic mean girl. And I felt really bad for her because I think that we all have those times where it's like, you know, you think you're having fun, you think you're with friends and somebody says something really mean to you. And it wasn't just that this Megan woman was like, oh, this is how I feel. She was like, and this is how everybody else feels. Oh, you think you're at a party with your friends? You're not. We all hate you. We all don't like you. We all think you're annoying. We all think you're thirsty. We all think this, this, and this. Nobody likes you here. And we all talk about you behind your back. Now, this is the thing. I think everything that what Megan said was true. I think they all talk about Heather behind her back. I think Jeff Lewis does. I think Kelly Dodd does. I think whoever, I think this, this chef stew person does. I think they all talk about her behind her back. I do. But it's a case of Megan poisoning them. And then also a case of, we're going to talk about you behind your back, but we're going to be your friend to your face because we want to use you. Because for all the things that Jeff Lewis is doing, for all the things that this Megan woman is doing, for all the things that this Chef Stu is doing, Heather McDonald is outpacing them and doing it better. She has a bigger following. The Juicy Scoopers are deep and they're very, very loyal. And I think that they want to have a, have a part of that, you know? Get the Juicy Scoopers on board. Get all of that, you know? In my mind, I think Heather's winning, you know? She has the host stick. I'm team Heather on this one. Megan, if you have a problem with Heather, then don't be friends with her. But don't sit around and have her name coming out of your mouth all the time, poisoning everybody else against her. And then when you get some liquid courage, try try and go after her. If you don't like her that much, then like just don't hang out with her. Exactly. Barbara says they're all using each other, all toxic. Exactly. Exactly. They're all using each other. They want to get clicks. They want to get views. They want to get subscribers. They want to get Patreon members. You know, they want to get, you know, the invites and all of that stuff. And I think Megan is just really, really jealous. She's one of the, those type of people. And I'll, 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 I'll even say it. I think she's one of those type of women because unfortunately it happens more with women than men, unfortunately. I think she's one of those type of women that sees another woman winning and says, 
instead of saying, oh, I can get there too, they say, well, how can I take her down? And it just seems really petty. Because honestly, Heather McDonald is harmless. You know, she's funny. She's sweet. She's self-deprecating. She talks about it herself. And she and she was on um, Kelly and what's his name? Kelly and Rick. And she told this story about why she's like that. You know, she said in like middle school or high school, um, she was friends with these girls. And one of the girls had broken up with her boyfriend at the time. And Heather had like randomly ran into the guy at like IHOP or something like that. Denny's. I don't know. I don't know. Where did the kids go there? I don't know. And she just like chatted with him and the girl like covertly got really jealous, but didn't even tell Heather. And then the girl's having this party and she talked to everybody against Heather. And when Heather was like, well, can somebody like give me a rat? And they threw like a brick in the back of her car. So she couldn't drive to the party, but she didn't know. And so she was asking all of the friends, like, you know, can I get a ride to the party? And they're all, everyone's like, well, we can't take you. We can't take you. And then she gets to the party and no one's talking to her. Everybody's like icing her out. And she's like, what's going on guys? You know? And one guy yells in the air, nobody effing wants you here or something like that. And I think that level of trauma you know, like she says, has affected her now into her adult life. I don't know if she's in therapy. She probably should be. The fact that this very traumatic experience that happened to you as a child is still affecting your adult life. You should probably talk it out. But like, I totally get that. You know, that level of like embarrassment and humiliation and trauma and pain and hurt as a child, because, you know, teenagers in my view, I think they're still children. And then you grow up to be a woman who's like, well, I just want people to pick me. I just want people to like want to hang out with me. I want to be a part of the crowd and all of that stuff, right? And then to have that same exact experience basically mirrored with this Megan woman, I think is really horrible and like re-traumatizing and really honestly quite weird to me. Jeff Lewis was like, oh, you know, I'm just going to stay neutral. I really like Heather. I don't agree with what Megan said at all. I've known that Megan doesn't like her, but I don't agree with what she said or how Heather was treated, all of this stuff. Now, I do think that Jeff Lewis probably genuinely likes Heather, but I also still think that he could have handled the situation differently. I think that, if, yeah, you may be friends with both of them, but – Megan just isn't your friend. Megan is also your employee. And Heather is not just your friend. Heather is also a business ally. So if we're just going to keep it all the way 100, Heather is more valuable to you than Megan is. In, in a business sense, if we're just being honest. You know, Heather said, I'm never going on Jeff's radio show again. The Juicy Scoopers came after them. All of There was this huge backlash. So on a personal level, it's wrong, but also on a business level, it's wrong. You know, I'm not going to have my employee cussing out someone that helps my business. So personally, it was dead wrong. And also from a business standpoint, it was dead wrong, right? So yeah, I'm just team Heather on this one. And Heather, honestly, if I was you, I would reevaluate anybody in that group. Also Kelly and Rick. She went on Kelly. She went on the Daily Smash with Kelly and Rick, and I don't really think they're really your friends. If I'm gonna be all the way 100 with it, because people always tell you who they are. I watched the interview, and when Kelly and Rick kind of looked at each other and smirked, and they're like, "Well, this is really good for us. We got 1,600 new subscribers and all of this stuff, and this is really great. I was like, oh, so the reason why you're having her on the show is because you want to get more subscribers. Oh, the reason why you're having her on the show is because you want to make sure that the Juicy Scoopers don't come after you guys. Do you know? So, so Yeah. So, yeah. So, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, Raji brings up a good point. She goes, Heather did have a falling out with Chelsea Handler. Chelsea said that Heather allegedly was talking behind her back while she was working on Chelsea lately. So, I don't know. Two sides to every story. Yes. But but these are also two different stories. Like, what happened with Heather and Chelsea Handler, like, over a decade ago, isn't really 
relevant in this particular situation. And also Heather, not Heather, yeah, Heather McDonald has, has also come out and said she was wrong and she would have done things differently. And they have since made up and made amends. That's a completely different situation than what's happening with Megan and Heather and Jeff Lewis, if that makes sense. They're, they're completely different situations. Like if I have a falling out with a friend now, a falling out I had with a friend 10, 15 years ago about something completely different is not relevant to the falling out I have with somebody right now, if that makes sense. Okay, but, but I wanted, but that was a really good point, Raji, and I'm happy you brought it up so we could talk about it. So thank you so much for your comment. Um, but yeah, you guys, as always, I want to know what you guys think about this. And do you want more stories like this, more pop culture stories, more stories about other people than just the housewives? Let me know. Put it down below. And before you do that, you know what to do. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Dun, 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 dun. 